wale venye wanazidi kuvuna wanazuiria kwa magara tunafikiria wao ni wewe. Watch them carefully through the times. Ah lakini waangalie sana through the times. Ah kupitia aha majira as the Bible has put it, na kama vile Biblia imeiweka, the more they hold, a vile wanazidi kuzuiria. With the time the more they become poor. A vile wakati inaendelea wanaendelea kuwa maskini. But those who scatter, lakini wale ambao hutawanya ama hupeana, the more they scatter, a vile wanazidi kuipeana. Through the time the more they become rich. A kwa vile wakati inaendelea ndivyo wanaendelea kuwa matajiri. In fact, what you have without God's Ah uh, uh, kile ambacho uko nacho bila uh, baraka za Mungu it does not carry the blessings of increase kuwa haibedi baraka ya kuongezeka The Bible has said in the chapter 20 verse 28 verse 20 Biblia inasema katika Mithari 20:28 20:28 A single man shall abode with riches ya kwamba uh, mtu uh, sorry a faithful man shall abound with riches mtu mwaminifu atazidi kuandamwa na utajiri but the one who is hasty in making riches the one who is hasty in making riches uh, lakini yule ambaye anazuilika kufanya utajiri the bible says he will not be innocent uh, biblia inasema kwamba hatakuwa uh-huh. asiona makosa asio na makosa blessed be the name of the lord na jina la bwana libarikiwe this one who hopes huyo mtu ambaye anazuilia he runs to get riches ah uh, huwa anapata utajiri he gathers everything to himself ah uh, huwa anakusanya kitu uh, kila kitu kwake and the more he puts up here and there and there na wakati anaendelea kwenda hapa na pale he is busy doing everything to gather everything so that he can become rich Ah uh, yeye anakuaga uh, kifanya kila juhudi kupata utajiri. But the Bible says in doing so, lakini Biblia inasema kwa kufanya vile, he is not without error before the law. Ah uh, ah uh, hmm. He is not without error before the law. Sio kana kwamba hana makosa mbele za Mungu. He cannot be said to be innocent person. Hawezi uh, kuwa mtu ambaye hana makosa. And what is the Lord teaching us? Na Mungu anatufundisha nini? As a church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kama kanisa la Yesu Kristo. It is not wise to have, sio vizuri kuwa nayo. It is not wisdom to have, uh, sio hekima. Sio hekima kuwa naye. And you do not act according to the word of God. Na ufanyi kama vile neno linatuongoza. We have seen so many people in the world. Tumeona watu wengi katika dunia. Even we have seen them in the churches. Na hata tumeona makanisani. It is not here. I'm not speaking about here. Na si sio hapa siongelelei hapa. Everybody is busy gathering and gathering so that they can get a name so and so and so rich. A uh, uh, wakiwa katika juhudi za kukusanya na ili wapate majina tajika ya kwamba fulani na fulani ni tajiri. You see so, so and so Unaona fulani na fulani. That vehicle belongs to him. Hiyo gari ni yao. You see so and so? Unaona fulani na fulani. That factory belongs to him. Ah hiyo factory ni yao. You see so and so? Unaona fulani na fulani. That shop and that shop are his. Ah hiyo duka na ile duka ni yake. But sit down with that person. Lakini kaa chini na ule mtu. And let him him op- be open to you. Na wacha kufungulie moyo wake. The kind of problems they are going to share with you a uh, shida ambazo atagawana uh, pamoja na wewe and the challenges they are facing na hata changamoto ambao wanaona kila siku until you shall lift up your hands ah uh, haswa so utaweza kuinua mkono and tell god i thank you because i don't have these riches ah uh, utamshukuru mungu na muambie asante kwa maana sina huu utajiri but i have peace in my heart lakini niko na Aha furaha ya moyoni. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. There was a program in the in the TV I I don't know when I, I saw it like it is coming back the other day. Ah uh, uh, kulikuwa na broker ambaye nilikuwa nimeona kwa TV siku nyingine. A program. Oh uh, ah uh, aha. Pindi. Ah uh, kulikuwa na kipindi sorry. Nene hii as I go. Sa siku nyingi zimepita. And the, and the title of that top, that that program was Ah na kichwa cha kipindi kile kilikuwa the riches also cry ya kwamba hata matajiri pia huwa wanaria why do they cry 
kwa nini walie would you expect rich people to cry je waweza tarajia kwamba watu tajiri huwa analia but it is true lakini ni kweli kabisa the rich also ya kwamba hata a uh, matajiri huwa anafanya nini talk to me church the rich also eh ongea nami kanisa hata matajiri huwa anafanya nini wanalia wanalia and this also is a paradox aha uh -huh. what is a paradox it's something that looks like not true na hii pia ni jambo ambalo huwa linaonekana kama sio la ukweli but you, if you look clearly inside it you shall conclude lakini that this is true lakini ukiangalia kwa umakini ndani yake utaweza kuona ukweli ndani yake hebu tuelewe sana ah tarakia hicho iguidhanie nikina nani wanalawala vizuri ni ya makomaga wega wanalala tangu saa 2 wanaamka saa moja makomaga dha igere shia hwa ine magokira dha emwe ni masikini ama ni matajiri ni ya doa dheni kana ni ya ya togu eh wala wakona wakona amani ya mungu ehe aa siku wanauliza hivyo kati ya matajiri na masikini kiulia ya kwa na igu uroregi ye ari ya togu na ari ya dheni wiki na nani wanalala saa ambiri ni ya makomaga dha igere wala amuka saa moja ama saa mbili mara wakira adhe mwekana adha igiri kwa nino walala mapema na kuwa muka rit niki mako mara tene na mara wakira mashera iluo wala mapo ina wasubo wutile kiedo kila ama gia ati ati wana kaza ati wana kaza nini wana ati wana tajiri wakati ya nawa wanapigua na driver Ah, lele mudo muto gua komete, lele mone hura gero ne derefa. Hello boss, akero hello boss. Wali me shikwa, agari ne anyi to. Natuko to na pele ka musi wal moba sa ine go joa na meri. Natuko to arawa muri go na i <hesitation> moba da we trei go ne meri. Sa ahi tu ame to asuti, a da i shio to a koro a ruta adu. Ame fa pajama, e kere te pajama. A te sa sa a lale na ne sa tama. Na ne gai da kome na ne da i dano. A na ambia muke wa ke, a kera mutu miya wa ke, da ri ne hanyi to. Gari meshikwa. Eh? Tala mungine akiri se ap ali niambia mumo wake. Mwari wai mwai wai dawi twa je dide mudu ilu wake. Ali toka ati wake mfu ame fuga shati ki fungo hike. Awu mire ahi ge te shati ge fungo ge ke. Ame iwe ka hapa. Age kere te ha ha. Uko kuo te hakuna kitu. Nago ko ge guwe dawi tiri ke. Kwa sababu ata wakuwa gi na wakati wa kujianda. Todo na mati kora wona ihi dari ako ihare reria. Shida iko hapa. Ah, dhina wako. Na wacha nikwambie. Na reke gwere. Fedha sisizo na baraka za Bwana ni tabu na raana. Besha sio the itari na kiradhi moke ya gai ni dhina na kirumi. Look at chapter 3 verse 4. Ah, tuangazie mstari wa 10 ya kuanzia 4. He become poor. Ah, yes. He with a slick hand. Mhm. Mm Chapter 10 verse 4. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Chapter 10 verse 4. A kumi mstari wa 4 inasema he became or he become poor that dealed with a slave hand. A atenda mambo kwa mkono mregevu. He becomes poor. Yeah, yeah, huwa maskini. That dealed with a slave hand. Atendaye mambo kwa mkono mregevu by the hand of the diligent make rich ah uh, mhm mm do you have it yes mstari wa 4 unasema atendaye mambo kwa mkono mregevu huwa mm -hmm. maskini mhm mm akusanyaye wakati wa hari ni mwana mwenye hekima amen amen yeye ambaye anafanya mambo oshoweka ga maodo that person who Holds and scatters with a slick hand. Ah, yeye ambaye huja huzuiria na kuachiria kwa mkono mregevu. That that he is not willing to do so. Ya kwamba yeye ah ile jambo haritoki ndani yake. He becomes poor. Yeye huwa maskini. Remember the word Jesus was teaching. Ah, kumbuka ah neno ambalo Yesu alikuwa anafundisha. In the book of Matthew chapter 25. Katika Mathayo 25. When he spoke about the four the three the three servants who were given different talents wakati alikuwa anazungumza kuhusu 
Ah uh, watu wawili ambao watatu wa three servants. Ah uh, watenda kazi watatu ambao walipewa taranda. And Jesus was teaching the the parable of how the kingdom of God looks like. Na Yesu alikuwa anafundisha kuhusiana na vile ufalme wa Mungu na uh, unakaa just to activate your memory a bit na niweze kukukumbusha kidogo a certain man gave his word to his three servants ya kwamba kuna mtu mmoja aliweza kupea uh, watumishi wake watatu taranta the money the world we have does not belong to us na kile ambacho utajiri ambao tuko nao sio wetu sisi it belong to god uh, utajiri ule ni wa mungu we hold it in stewardship a uh, sisi ni kuaminiwa tumeaminiwa sisi ni mawakili na sisi ni mawakili we are stewards of this, the, the riches and the wealth of our father sisi, and our god sisi ni mawakili wa mali na utajiri wa Mungu yes, so if you go to that book Matthew chapter 25 you find yourself there na ukienda katika Mathayo 25 you find yourself there utaweza kujipata mahala pale there is a servant who was given five Uh, kulikuwa na mtumishi ambaye alipewa tano there was a servant who was given two kulikuwa na mtumishi ambaye alipewa mbili there is a servant who was given one na kulikuwa na mtumishi ambaye alipewa moja the one who was given one ambaye alipewa moja never gave it out yeye hakupeana praise be to the name of the lord jina la bwana alipewa he never put it into business yeye hakuiweka katika biashara he decided to withhold it yeye aliamua kuizuilia the bible says he dug a hole and Buried there. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba alichimba shimo na akaificha pale. The one who had five, naye ambaye alikuwa na tano. Look at how Jesus addressed them. Unaweza kuangalia vile Yesu aliweza kuwa One was said to be faithful. Ah uh, yule ambaye alikuwa mwaminifu. He was said to be faithful. Ambaye alisemekana kuwa mwaminifu. And a good servant. Na mtumishi mwema. Why? Kwa nini? When he was given five, wakati alipewa tano, he never withheld. Yeye hakuzuilia. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana alipewe sifa. Church, praise be to the name of the Lord. Kanisa jina la Bwana alipewe. When he was given five, ah wakati alipewa tano, he never kept it for himself. Yeye hakuweka kwa ajili ya nafasi yake. He went yake. out and put it into business. Yeye alienda akaiweka katika biashara. How do we do business? Ah uh, tunafanya biashara namna gani? If you get 5000 wakati unapata 1500 uh, and your business ma- woman or businessman na wewe ni mwana biashara your business is selling clothes aha uh-huh, biashara yako ni kuuza manguo what do you do unafanya nini you go to the dealers unaenda kwa dealers and you buy clothes in uh, according to the amount of money you have ah uh, unaenda unanunua kanguo kadi na pesa zenye uko nazo you risk Ah uh, unaweka katika hatari. In other words you don't put the 5000 in your pocket. Ah uh, kwa maneno mengine huweki ile 5000 kwa mfuko wako. You put it freely into the market. Yeye wa uh, huwa unaipeana katika soko. This is what the Bible says means in the book of a uh, Hebrew I'm the book of a uh, Uh, Proverbs chapter 11 na hivi ndivyo Biblia inamaanisha katika midhari 11 He releases his way of it into the into the into the business world ya kwamba huwa anaachilia mali yake katika biashara He put it into the risk of people anaenda anaiweka katika hatari ya watu And now he comes with faith na sasa anakuja na imani He come to the people the market with faith and confidence anakuja kwa imani na akiwa na ujasiri. That I'm going to do business. Ya kwamba ninaenda kufanya biashara. And I say sell. Na kama vile nilivyosauza. From whatever I have. Ah kile ambacho nitakuwa nacho. I'll gain profit. Nitapata faida. This is a difference from a person. Na hii ni tofauti sana na mtu who kept the 5000 in the pocket. Ambaye aliweka ile 5000 kwa mfuko. Does not even want to go into a hotel and buy a cup of tea. Uh, ambaye anajizuilia atakwenda hotelini kununua kikombe cha chai cannot even buy a quarter meat to his family hawezi hata kununua nyama kuota ya familia yake he is so scared to lose maana yeye anaogopa sana kupoteza the bible teaches us lakini biblia inatufundisha that who holds everything ya kwamba yule ambaye anazuilia kila kitu loses everything ah huwa anapoteza kila kitu the one who was given five yeye ambaye alipewa tano five was entrusted to him ah tano iliaminiwa kwake he did business yeye alifanya biashara he gained five more ah akapata tano zaidi the one who was given two yeye ambaye alipewa mbili likewise he did not hold ah uh, pia yeye hakuzuilia he 
beast to the world the market beast to the world the market in the market world ah pia yeye aliweza kuiweka katika soko what does the bible tells us na biblia inatuambia nini that when he reached to the market business ya kwamba wakati umeizuria the business world ah katika ah ulimwengu wa kibiashara he makes a profit of another two anafanya faida ya zingine mbili is this person getting poor or rich na huyu mtu je anakuwa tajiri ama anakuwa maskini he released to the world business or the he, business world yeye huwa anaachilia katika uh, kia biashara this is the secret na hii ndio siri this is the procedure na hii ndio um, uh, and this is the way na hii ndio njia blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana libarikiwe blessed be the name of the lord church jina la bwana libarikiwe kanisa if he had a chance to release now the 10 sorry If he had the chance to resist now the 10. Eh <laughs> kama angekuwa na nafasi ya kuachilia 10, how much more would he gain? Angepata ngapi? He would have gained 20. Yeye angepata 20. He started with 5, alianza na 5. Now he has multiplied by 4. Na sasa imeongezeka uh, mara mbili. 5 by 4 by 4 is what? Ah uh, um, uh, tano mara 4 ni ngapi? What about the one who had made another four? Na yule ambaye je, na yule ambaye alikuwa ame Uh-huh. Who had four? Yule ambaye alikuwa na 4. Suppose he released again. Na kama angeiachilia tena. Into the world, business world. Ah katika uh, kibiashara. He would have gained another. Yeye angepata ine zaidi. Now 2 by 4 is ah uh, 4 mara 2 ni ngapi? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Every time he does he gain he does not keep kila wakati alipata hakuzuilia he released it yeye aliachilia we have an opportunity today ah uh, tuko na nafasi siku ya leo we have been told since january ah uh, tumeambiwa kutoka january that we have a day of releasing ya kwamba tuko na siku ya kuachilia i want to say with certainty na nataka kusema kwa uh, hakika in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu as a servant of god on this altar kama mtumishi wa mungu kwa haya madhabahu the more you release ya kwamba vile utazidi kuachilia you are not releasing into a world of risk Ah uh, hauachiri katika ulimwengu wa hatari. Amen. Amen. You are releasing releasing in the kingdom of God. Unaachilia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Where gain and returns are sure. Ah uh, wa ambapo uh, kurejeshewa uh, imehakikishwa. Ooh. Let's put our hands to God. Wacha tupigie Mungu wetu makofi. Are you here in what I'm talking about? Na je unaelewa kile ambacho ninafanya? A businessman or a business woman Ah uh, mtu ambaye ni wa biashara when they release to the business world wakati wanaachilia kwa bia biashara they release to the risk ah uh, huwa wanaachilia a woman and a man of god lakini kwa mtu na i mean mama na mtu wa Mungu when they release what they have into the kingdom of god wakati wanaachilia kwa ufalme wa Mungu they are not releasing into risk ah uh, huwa waachilii kwa hatari they are releasing to a sure business ground Ah uh, huwa wanaachilia uh, kwa sehemu sure business ground. Ah uh, kwa ashua biashara ambayo imehakikishwa. Let's say be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. I didn't come because I had. Ah uh, sikukuja kwa sababu niko naye. I came because I have an opportunity. Nilikuja kwa sababu niko na nafasi. To do business with the kingdom of God. Ah uh, ya kufanya biashara pamoja na ufalme wa Mungu. The Bible says and the kingdom or the business of the king requires haste na bibi uh, uh-huh. the business of the kings requires haste a uh, biashara ya wafalme huwa inahitaji mitoke uh-huh. haraka that is why the, the bible has warned us na hivyo ndivyo biblia ina uh, tuomba that that he who deals slickly with his hand a uh, yule ambaye huwa anapeana kwa mkono mregevu they become poor huwa wanakuwa uh, ma aha uh-huh. they become maskini may the lord save us from this na mungu atuokoe kwa hii may the lord deliver church from this na mungu akomboe kanisa kwa hii i'm not going to give ya kwamba sitaenda kupeana what will i remain with ah uh, nitaachwa na nini in that occasion i will not give anything ah uh, kwa hiyo uh, sherehe sitapeana kitu After giving this what will I remain with? Je, nikipeana hii nitabaki lishwa na nini? God is saying, uh-huh. 
God is saying, Mungu anasema, the more you release, ah uh, vile unazidi kupeana, the more you gather, ah uh, vivyo ndivyo unazidi kupeana, the more you hold, ah uh, vile unazidi kuzuia, the more you scatter, vile inaenda ikipa ikipotea. And here I see a principle. Na hapa ninaona sheria, kanuni, ama kanuni. Let's understand the church. Ah uh, tafadhali tuelewe kanisa. Let us understand this principle. Wacha tu uh, erewe hii. And also let me before I do that let me also say this. Na wacha kabla niseme hiyo niseme hii. What is the enemy number one? Ah uh, adui wa kwanza ni nani? To your riches. Ah uh, adui wa kwanza wa utajiri wako ni nani? Is it the devil? Ni shetani, je, ni shetani? Nijibu. Do you, do you think devil is enemy number one in your riches? Je, wewe huwa unafikiria shetani ni adui namba moja wa uh, utajiri wako? No, hapana. In fact, the devil has no place in this. Ah, uh, hapana kwa sababu hata shetani hana nafasi kwa hii. How does the devil operate against our wealth? Shetani huwa anafanya kazi aje kwa utajiri wetu. How does the devil operate against our wealth? Shetani huwa anafanya kazi aje kwa utajiri wetu. How does the devil operate against our riches? Ah, uh, je, sh- shetani huwa anafanya kazi aje kwa utajiri wetu. The moment he confuses you, ah uh, wakati tu ame <laughs> confuses you. Wakati tu ame kuhakikishia. Uh, the moment he confuses you, wakati tu ame kushawishi that you don't have to give ya kwamba haustahili kupeana he makes you become a strong enemy to your own riches anakufanya ukue adui mkuu wa utajiri wako please be to the name of the lord na jina la bwana ribarikiwe i want you to turn to your neighbor nataka umgeukie jirani yako and don't fear telling them na usimuogope ukimwalia you number one wa utajiri wako ni wewe adho ya bere ya toga wako ni wewe Na kama kuna mtu ama kuna kitu utaomba ukifunga na korohe hmm. kidu kuhoera leo kuhiga a a kuomba <laughs> biding and rusing oh <laughs> there is something you are going to pray biding and rusing na kama kuna kitu utaenda kuombea ni kufungua biding and rusing kufunga na uh, kupoteza bide yourself and rusing yourself ehe jifunge na upotee Uh-huh. Bide yourself Bide. and rusi yourself. Oh, jifunge na ujifunge mwenyewe. You know, sometimes we jam and jam and speak in tongues. Un- saying Father in the name of Jesus, I bind the devil against my riches. Don't bind the devil, bind yourself first. Unajua saa zingine huwa tunaruka juu na chini tukisema ya kwamba nimefunga au shetani kwa pesa zangu. Eh kwa pesa zangu. Ah, mtu wa kwanza kujifungua ni wewe mwenyewe. Kujifunga ni wewe. Kujifunga ni wewe. Kama kuna watu wa kufungwa ni wewe na kama kuna watu wa kufungwa ni wewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you still love me? Je, bado mnanipenda? Praise be to the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Look at my hand. Angalia mkono wangu. If I have riches here, nikiwa na utajiri hapa. The more I hold Ah uh, vile ninazidi kuzuia. The more I deny myself, vile ninajinyima nafasi, eh? Huh? Uh-huh. Of gaining ya kupata zaidi. Do you understand? Umeelewa? Can you hold your hand like this? Unaweza fanya mkono wako hivi. Imagine that there is something, there is well there. Ah, uh, hebu fikiria kuna utajiri. You have a million here. Uko na milioni moja hapa. And you think if I give 100,000, na unaamini ya kwamba nikipeana 1,100, I'll be raised 100,000. Ya kwamba nitakuwa na pungufu wa 1,100. The human wisdom will tell you. Ah, uh, uh, ufahamu wa wanadamu utakwambia vile. Don't this anything. Ya kwamba usiachilie kitu. The moment you remove a shilling, wakati utatoa shilingi hapa, from the 1 million kutoka kwa ile 1 million you can no longer be a millionaire hautaweza kuitika millionaire but the secret of giving lakini uh, siri ya kupeana is the secret of receiving uh, ni siri ya kupokea the secret of scattering uh, siri ya kuachilia is the secret of becoming rich uh, ni siri ya kuwa tajiri if i release wakati ninaachilia au gain more nitapata zaidi Let me take you to a, an example a living example in the Bible. Wacha nikupeleke kwa mfano katika Biblia. Genesis chapter 24. Ah uh, mwanzo 24. God 
came or God spoke to Abraham Mungu akamnenea Abraham Give me your son ya kwamba nipe mwanao The only son you have mwana wako wa kipekee The only son you have and the only son you love Ah um, mtoto wa kipekee ambao uko naye na unampenda And God knew na Mungu alijua This is the secret ya kwamba hii ndio siri This is a test. Ah uh, hii ni mtihani. If Abraham will pass this test. Ya kwamba Abraham kama atapita huu mtihani, I'll give him other Isaacs. Ya kwamba nitampa aha uh, uh, other Isaacs. Nitampa vitu zingine. Isaac, Isaac wengine. Oh Isaac wengine. As the sad in the seashore. Ah uh, sorry. As the sad on the seashore. Oh, kama mchanga kando ya bahari. There was already a promise. Na kulikuwa na ile ahadi. Look at the stars. Angalia uh, nyota wa mbinguni. If you be able to count them. Ya kwamba kama utaweza kuhesabu. That will be the number of your children descendants and descendants after you. Bila shaka hiyo itakuwa ndio uzao ambao watakuwa ni wako. Go into the sea and baharini and watch the stars on the seashore uangalie mchanga kando ya bahari that is how your children will be na hivyo ndivyo watoto wako watakuwa but what i require from you abraham is this lakini kile ninaomba kwako abrahamu ni hiki give me your son ya kwamba unipe mwanao can we say together with god to uh, abraham uh, tunaweza uh, sema kwa pamoja kama I Mungu want, kwa... I want you to repeat these words of God. Na nataka urejelee uh, uh, hii maneno ya Abrahamu kutoka like, kwa Mungu. Like we are all telling Abraham. Kama sisi wote tukimwambia Abraham. Abraham, Abraham, give me your son. Nipe mwanao. Let's say again, Abraham, Abraham, give me your son. Nipe kijana wako. And now let's go to the mountain. Na sasa twende mlimani. Abraham took the son. Abraham akachukua mwana wake. He bored him. Akaweza kumshika. He bored him. Akamfunga. He put him on the altar. Akaweza kumwekelea kwa Don't madhabahu. forget he had carried the fire. Na usisahau ya kwamba alikuwa amebeba moto. He also had carried the knife. Na alikuwa amebeba kisu. And he took up the knife. Na akachukua kisu juu. About to slaughter the son. Akiwa karibu kumchinja yule mwana wake. He had given it freely to God. Kwa sababu alikuwa amepeana kwa roho nzuri kwa Mungu. The voice came from heaven. Na sauti kutoka mbinguni. Abraham, Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. Do not touch your son. Uangalie usimdhuru mwana. Behold a lamb. Ehe uh-huh. atazama kuna mwana kondoo. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord say, maana Mungu alisema, Now I know. Ah uh, sasa nimejua that you fear the Lord. Ya kwamba unamuogopa Mungu. Now I know. Sasa nimejua that you fear the Lord. Ya kwamba unamuogopa Mungu. Why did Abraham qualify to be a man who fears the Lord? Jambo la kwanza Abraham alihitimu kuwa mtu ambaye anaogopa Mungu. The Bible says. Biblia inasema because you did not with hope. Ya kwamba kwa, kwa sababu haukujizuilia. We you did not with hold your son from me. Yeye hukuzuilia hukuzuilia mwanao kwa ajri yangu. Today we are just here in a small house. Si leo tuko hapa kwa nyumba hii kidogo. Just turn your eyes around. Angalia macho yako kando na kando. Just turn your eyes around. Naomba u, uh, upeleke macho yako kila kona. And look at the people in the house of God. Na uangalie watu katika nyumba ya Mungu. These are the stars that Abraham saw. Na hii ndiyo nyota Abraham These are the stars. Hizi ndizo nyota Abraham. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana libariki. Oh, hallelujah to God. Hallelujah kwa Mungu. Let's give Jesus a hand. Wacha tumpe Bwana mgawa. I hope I'm releasing the only son he had. Ah, uh, Abraham kwa mkuachilia mtoto mwa wa pekee ambaye alikuwa na the grace of the sad that he was so on the in this on the sad show. Na hii ndiyo mchanga ambaye aliona katika kando ya bahari. Suppose he with the heart. Je, kama angezuilia hatungekuweko. Ah, uh, tutigere kuo. If this one does not teach you. Na kama hii haikufundishi, I don't know who will ever teach you. Na uh, sijui ni nani mwingine atakufundisha. I now know. Sasa nimejua that you fear the Lord. Ya kwamba unamuogopa Mungu. Kwa maana huku nizuilia mwanao. Ni todo do agirere ile moro huo. Kama Abraham hangezuilia. Ah, koro ah uh, Ibrahimu da agirere ile. Hatukepatikana. Ah, tutigionekanile. See how God is multiplying Abraham. Ah, uh, hebu angalia vile Mungu anafanya maradufu Abraham. Abraham got only one son. Abraham alikuwa na kijana mmoja. 
The one recorded in the Bible has a son of the promise. Ambaye ame nakiriwa katika Biblia kama mwana wa ahadi. He had others which were not counted in the blessings. Ah uh, alikuwa na wengine ambao hakuhesabika katika baraka. Leave alone those one. Awachana na wale. Let's count on Isaac. Wacha tuhesabu kwa Isaac. Abraham had the first star Isaac. Ah uh, Abraham alikuwa na Isaka wa kwanza. Isaac got how many? Uh, Isaka alikuwa na wangapi? He got two. Alikuwa na wawili. Jacob got how many? Ah uh, you you um, you call uh, Yakobo. Yakobo alikuwa na wangapi? Are you seeing something coming? Ah uh, sijui kama unaona kuna kitu kinajileta. Abraham got one son. Ah uh, Abraham alikuwa na kijana mmoja. Isaac was two. Isaac alikuwa na wawili. Jacob got two. Yakobo alikuwa na 12. Na From there nobody could count them. Ah uh, kutoka hapo hakuna mtu angeweza kuhesabu. This secret is working. Na hii siri inafanya kazi. This principle is working. Na hii uh, kanuni inafanya kazi. The more you will hold. Vile unaendelea kuzuia. The more you deny yourself from getting. Hivyo ndivyo unajinyima nafasi yako uh, kutokana na kupata. The more you release. Na vile unaendelea kuachilia. The more you scatter. Ah uh, vile unaendelea kuachilia. The more richer you become. Hivyo ndivyo unaendelea kuwa tajiri. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. The third person who was given one talent. Ah uh, na mtu wa tatu ambaye alipewa taranta moja. Ah uh, yes, yes, I'm finishing. Yesu akasema na ninamaliza. To the one who had ya kwamba yule ambaye atakuwa naye more shall be given. Ah uh, mingi uh, atapata. But to the one who has nothing. Lakini kwa yule ambaye hana even what he has hata kile alicho nacho will be taken away. Kitanyakuliwa. Again this is a paradox. Na hii jambo lingine lisiloezekana. Ni jambo ambalo halijulikani. How can what I take away? What how can what I have be taken away? Je, itakuwa aje kile ambacho niko nacho kichukuliwe? What how can what I don't have na itakuwaje kile ambacho sina will be taken away kitakuwa kia, kimechukuliwa what is god saying mungu anasema nini even the ability to get to tomorrow sorry even the ability to get to tomorrow hata kwa uwezo wa kupata kesho even that ability will be taken away hata hiyo uwezo itanyakuliwa the one who was given one yeye ambaye alipewa moja and we held na akazuilia he buried in the ground akaweka mchangani when the, the, the master came na wakati uh, bwana wake alikuweza he out uh, akaitoa he took it to him akampatia he said to the servant na akamwambia mtumishi the other servant uh, wale watumishi wengine what he has uh, kile ambacho alikuwa na take it away uh, kichukue now with the holding uh, kwa kuzuilia now with the holding kwa kuzuilia you become more and more poor unaendelea kuwa masikini uh, zaidi na zaidi and sometimes we don't have to fast and pray na saa zingine hata sio lazima tufunge na tuombe in fact fasting and praying is not an answer to our poverty na haswa kufunga na kuomba sio jawabu la shida yetu you don't have to, to rebuke the spirit of poverty Ah uh, haikuhitaji sana wewe kukemea roho ya umaskini. The only way to overcome the spirit of poverty is to give. Ah uh, jia pekee ya kuepuka umaskini ni kupeana. As I conclude my message. Na wakati ninaenda kumatamatisha ujumbe wangu. Look at the church, look at the Macedonian churches. Angalia kanisa la Makedonia. In the book of 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 8. Katika uh, wa Korintho wa kwanza mstari wa 8. What is their testimony? Na ushuhuda wao ni gani? How are they described? Na wao wanasema aje? They were poor, ya kwamba walikuwa maskini. All through severe trials, wakienda katika majaribu mingi, they were poor walikuwa masikini they were in deep poverty uh, walikuwa katika shida nyingi and walking or swimming in severe trials na walikuwa napitia katika majaribu mwa there are people who are joyous uh-huh. there were people full of joy na walikuwa ni watu ambao walikuwa na furaha tele and when Paul required of them na wakati paulu aliweza kuwauliza when Paul required uh-huh. what them to give something Oh, wakati Paulu alitaka wapeane kitu even before they were asked to bring hata kabla waulizo walete the bible records biblia inasema that they gave beyond their ability ya kwamba walipeana hata zaidi ya uwezo wao even beyond the expectations of Paul hata and Silas 
hata zaidi ya matarajio ya Paulo na Silas may God release the grace na Mungu aachilie neema upon us the grace of scattering ah kwetu sisi ah ah neema ya kuachilia amen amen may God release the grace upon the church na Mungu aachilie neema juu ya kanisa the grace of releasing neema ya kuachilia and take away this notion that we have na atoe hii idea that we have na atoe hii mafikiria ambayo inakuwa ndani yetu that if i give i become poor ya kwamba nikizipeana nitazidi kuwa maskini that i give if i give the only 100 i have i'll, I'll sleep hungry ya kwamba nikipeana shilingi 100 nitalala njaa if i take the time from my salary Uh, nikitoa fungu la 10 kwa mshahara wangu uh, the, my budget will not take me to the end of the month ya kwamba uh, budget yangu haitanipeleka hadi mwisho wa mwezi when we do not know the secret of giving uh, wakati hatukuwa tumejua hii siri ya kupeana when we had not known the secret of being faithful with our tithes wakati tulikuwa hatuaminiki kwa fungu zetu we would go to the supermarket with mama reverend tungeenda kwa supermarket pamoja na mama reverend we would buy 8 kilograms of cooking 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 fat tungeweza kununua kilo nane ya mafuta ya kupika ile ya ile ya ya ile ngumu eh mara ya momo mara ya mama eh mhm na sio ile ya maji na tunapanga hii tutaikula na tuko na watoto wadogo tunapanga hii tutakula mwezi mzima ah na tukafa agamaya toko ya mweri mgima nataka kukuambia muulizeni yako hapa haikuwa inamaliza mwezi na mumu ulie todo wale ha matianina ga mweri tinde tukaliko ka itohona ga turia ga maguta madheri na tunashindwa kwani tunakuraga mafuta uh, tupu i don't think even now we buy those things and keep in our in our in our, in our store na sasa hata huwa fikiri kama tunanua hizo vitu na kuweka kwa store yetu we don't go that way hatuendi kwa hiyo njia because the moment we scatter the more we scatter maana vile tunavyoachilia ndivyo tunavyopokea the more we receive Uh, ndivyo tunavyopokea we have come to scatter uh-huh. we have come to scatter na leo tumekuja kuachilia mali yetu let me wacha niwaambie that you left at home kile ambacho uliacha nyumbani bow down your head for a moment uh-huh. bow down your head for a moment naomba uinamishe kichwa kichwa chako kwa dakika kidogo just bow down your head naomba uinamishe kichwa chako don't look at me Naomba usinitazame. Let the spirit of God speak to you. Waacha roho wa Mungu akunenee. In a mood of prayer. Katika ahari ya maombi. Remember what you left home. Ah, kumbuka kile uliacha nyumbani. Because you didn't want to come with it. Maana haukutaka kukuja nacho. Let the spirit of God speak to you. Waacha roho mtakatifu akunenee. Let the spirit of God speak to you. Hii uh-huh. roho mtakatifu asikuzungumzie. Oh, aha. Uh-huh. Na ujukute unatoa bila kufunga. Na we, bila kusudia. Eh uh-huh. na wekore ukiruta. Do you know what you did? Unajua ulifanya nini? You decided to withhold. Uliamua kuzuilia. I pray that the Lord will keep it. Na ninaomba Mungu aiweke. May the Lord keep it safe. Naomba Mungu aiweke ikiwa salama. If you are going to find it, kama utaipata Just understand it is God who has been having mercy or being merciful to you. Ah uh, ukumbuke ya kwamba ni Mungu amekuwa mwingi wa rehema kwako. Imagine how long you are going to take that money and use it. Ah uh, unaweza How long will it help you? Ah uh, hiyo ma, uh, unaweza fikiria vile hiyo pesa itakusaidia kwa muda mgani. Mungu bado the Lord wanted it here. Na Mungu labda alikuwa anahitaji hapa. The Lord wanted it to be brought in the house of God. Oh Mungu alihitaji iletwe katika nyumba ya Mungu. But because we didn't want to scatter. Lakini kwa sababu hatukutaka kutawanya. We kept it for ourselves. Ah tuliweka kwa ajili ya nafsi zetu. And I finished by repeating this word. Na ninamaliza kwa kurudia haya maneno. The person who scatters. Ya kwamba ule mtu ambaye hutawanya become rich. Yeye huwa tajiri. The one who with hopes. Yeye ambaye huzuilia becomes poor. Yeye anazidi kuwa maskini. Just as the Lord to help you. Ah uh, naomba uombe Mungu akusaidie. Tell the Lord to help you. Ambia Mungu akusaidie. Tell the Lord to help you. Ambia Mungu akusaidie. Open your mouth. Ah uh, fungua mdomo wako. You have been an enemy to your own riches. Yeye wewe umekuwa adui kwa utajiri wako mwenyewe. Don't blame the devil. Na uh, usimlaumu shetani. It is you who made the decisions. Wewe ndiye uliyefanya yale ah uh, 
decisions. Ah uh, ya yeah, uh, ulifanya the decisions. Maamuzi, ule uamuzi. Probably he influences you. Eh. <laughs> Probably he pushed you to do so. Labda shetani alikusukumia ufanya vile. But you could have said no as well. Lakini pia ungesema la. You would have refused the devil. Pia ungekataa ma, 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 kusukumwa na shetani. And come and give freedom. Na ukuje upeane kwa roho I uh, release the secret to you. Ninaachilia siri kwako. That the more you scatter. Ya kwamba vile unazidi kuachilia. The richer you become. Uh, unazidi kuwa the utajia. more you will hold vile unazidi kuzuilia the more you do not give vile unazidi kukataa kupeana the more what you have get finished hivyo ndivyo kile ambacho uko nacho kinaendelea kudidimia in fact if you want to be poor like uh, kama unataka kuwa maskini keep all this for yourself sorry keep all this to yourself ajiweke utajiri wote wewe peke yako but if you want to be rich lakini kama unataka kuwa tajiri scatter and much so achiria na juu ya yote uh-huh. into the kingdom of God katika ufalme wa Mungu Father we thank you Baba tunakushukuru that today we have an opportunity ya kwamba leo tuko na nafasi to scatter in your kingdom ya kuachilia katika ufalme wako This is my prayer na hii ndio ombi yangu that whatever God your people are going to scatter ya kwamba kile chochote watu wako wanaenda kuachilia take it back king of glory more to pride naomba ukichukue na ukifanye uh, maradufu let it be a media ya kwamba ikuwe ni njia njia let it be a media for the to become rich ikuwe ni njia ya kuwa tajiri in the name of jesus christ katika jina la yesu christ help us king of glory to have the grace a uh, tusaidie kuwa na neema to scatter ya kuachilia to release freely ya kuachilia kwa kupenda in every occasion na katika sherehe yote Lord, you shall make us generous ambaye Mungu tufanye kuwa wakarimu in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu I pray for the next one hour ninaomba kwa risali lingine ambalo linakuja as we go to the period and the time of scattering wakati tunaingia katika kipindi cha kuachilia it is the grace of getting riches ninaomba uachilie neema ya kupata utajiri I speak that grace of releasing na ninanena juu ya hiyo neema which pull or attract the grace of becoming rich ambayo inavutia hali ya kuwa tajiri i release it upon your people na ninaachilia kwa watu wako and i speak it on this altar na ninanena kwa haya madhabahu i speak that grace on this altar ninanena hiyo uh, neema kwa hii madhabahu the grace you released to the churches of macedonia uh, kama vile ulivyoachilia kwa kanisa la macedonia who defeated severe trials ambao walishinda majaribu mingi with their generous giving kwa kupitia kupeana kwa hiari who defeated the spirit of poverty ambao walishinda roho uh, ya mumaskini with their riches generosity uh, kwa ajili ya kupeana kwa is that grace in this church naomba uachilie ile neema kwa hii kanisa and let the manifestation be evident to all na wacha Aha. manifestation wacha kwa matukio, matukio be evident to all I, ikuwe ushuhuda kwa wote in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu our father and our god baba wetu na mungu wetu we pray and we believe tunaomba na kuamini amen may god bless you amen mungu awabariki amen god amen. bless you amen mungu awabariki are we ready to scatter na sasa tuko tayari kuachilia there could be